What I like about grits is how versatile it is. Like you can really pair it with just about anything. So I made mine with some jerk pot roast and I'm gonna show you how I made it. After I cleaned my roast, I cut slits on both sides just so the seasoning can really soak into it. Now I'm using Cajun Trinity, which is onion, bell pepper, and celery, black garlic, salt and pepper, and jerk sauce. And you can go heavy with the jerk sauce. I promise you, you can't over season it. The roast is too thick. <laughs> I'm gonna sear on both sides for five minutes. So I'm adding olive oil to my cast iron. And in the meantime, I'm going to cut up my veggies, onion and celery. And usually I use bell peppers, but not this day. After I cut up my veggies, I'm gonna place them in a slow cooker and use about half of this pack of gravy. And after I add my roast, I'll use the rest of the gravy. And as you can see, I'm making a mess. I'm gonna add my beef broth, add some butter on top of my roast and slow cook this for about eight hours. And the last two hours, I'm gonna add my potatoes and carrots. I'm using red baby potatoes. After I add my potatoes and carrots to the crock pot, I just wanna make sure that it is completely covered in the broth. For my grits, I'm always using two and a half cups of chicken broth and a cup and a half of heavy cream. Once that comes to a boil, I add a cup of grits. I give that a quick stir, cover it, and let that cook for about five minutes. And I never go longer, because y'all know as grits stand, it thickens, and I don't like thick, thick grits like that. But I add me some butter, lots of pepper, and some cheese. And I never add salt. There's enough salt in the chicken broth for me, so I leave that out. But once my cheese has melted, it's time to plate. And I'm telling y'all, savory and grits is gonna work every time. So I add my grits, some gravy, and then my pot roast. Not gonna lie, you probably gonna go to sleep after eating this. But y'all let me know in the comments what combinations you guys like to eat with your grits. And I'll leave the full recipe in the caption.